Thank you. Uh, Rodri, Ben Ransom from Sky. Um, the, the club has suffered key injuries at centre-half and it's meant that Fernandinho's often had to play at the back. I just wondered, has that changed your role in the team at all and how you play? For me? Yeah, because you sit in front of the defence. No, I think it's a good thing. We have players that can play in many positions, like Dino, like Sinchenko, for example. Uh, it's a tough moment for the team because we, we lose some you know, uh, good players and important players for the team. Uh, but this only makes us uh, be stronger for the, for the next month. Uh, we have to be all together and we know the situation, but it's not an excuse. Uh, we can't you know, uh, give up uh, in our challenge this year, so we have to keep going and keep fighting all the, all the games. Uh, personally, I think uh, we have enough players to you know, to fit this uh, this uh, problem, and yeah, we are working hard uh, to win every game, uh, even this situation. This is now the ninth season that Manchester City have been in the Champions League. The club has grown in stature <clears throat> during that time. How much was a factor uh, of a factor was that in you coming here? The size of the club, your aspirations to win this competition. Well, fortunately, uh, this is my second year I played this competition. Uh, of course, I'm young, I, I don't have that experience, but, uh, you know, the Champions League is, for me, the, the greatest uh, um, tournament. Uh, it's the, all the good clubs uh, want to fight, uh, fight for it, and, you know, it's very, very tough. Uh, they, in the way that, for inches, for example, City last year, uh, they, they didn't log um, And you know, you have to be focused 10% all the time. You, you, if, you, if not, you're out. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. I think the team has, you know, is very focused in this competition. Uh, we, we dream with this competition lots of years. And, and yeah, we have to be patient, but we have to go all the time because this, this competition is like this. Uh, you go out in in the first, so we have to be focused all the time. Audrey, hi, Sam from the Premier League. I was just wondering, obviously you've been here for a couple of months now, how are you finding life here in Manchester? How are you settling into England? Very good uh, for me. Well, I didn't know how was, I'm going to fit in this city, but of course, when you do what you love, uh, when, you, when you are in the place you want to be, you, it's always easier. And I'm really happy to be here in Manchester and yeah, I'm getting used to, to the city, uh, to the fans, of course, they, they're great. And I like it because it's a small town, uh, you can walk everywhere. You know, weather is not <laughs> that good, but for me it's not a problem because, you know, as I tell you, I'm, I'm really happy here, uh, going training every day. So, uh, we travel a lot, so we, we don't have the, the chance to be a lot in, in, in home, but for me it's, it's good. Of course, you've played in the Champions League before, you've now played in the Premier League. What differences have you found between the two competitions in terms of the style of play? Well, many things. I think, uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know which is better, but um, it's different. Uh, the way of playing, I, I, I saw the first games, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I'd be a, a bit relaxed because in Spain you have that, that chance, but here that you don't have that chance. They always uh, try to stall the ball and they're more aggressive, there's more speed of the ball, um, you know, more comebacks, box to box, and that makes you be all, all the time alert. The, I think there's no... In Spain, we call pausa, you know, when when you say, okay, slow down, that here is <laughs> not that challenge. So, um, yeah, it's quite different. I, I, I need those first matches to adapt myself, but I, I like the competition. I like going a small, you know, small courts, small stadiums, and the environment is amazing. And for me, it's incredible playing this league. Rodri, uh, Simon Stern, <coughs> BBC. Could you just compare your current manager, Pep Guardiola, with your previous manager Diego Simeone what are the differences because Simeone seems very expressive on the touchline ah, of course the difference um, there are two different <coughs> trainers uh, coaches sorry uh, of course the way they work but um, you know I think they have been two of the you know of the greatest coaches in the last 10 years um uh, because of the success, the work, uh, dedication, and for me, it's been, 
you know, a, a pleasure working with those two. And today I'm I'm with with Pep, so I try to learn a lot. Oh, sorry, the most thing I can learn about him, and that's the only thing I can say that I I'm lucky to train with these two train uh, coaches. Hi, uh, Rodri, uh, up here. Uh, Fred Caldeira, Sport Interativo Brasil. I just would like to check uh, how's your relationship with Fernandinho because you've been playing the position of one of the legends of this club now because of the injuries he's been playing behind you. So just how's the relationship with him on and off the pitch? Yeah, uh, of course he's a, he's a very important player for the team. He's one of the captains. And for the first day I came here, he, he always helped me uh, Teach me a little bit, know how, how I have to fit in this position. Is 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 not what I used to do uh, because you know the the league, uh, the team. It's it's not easy to fit in this team, but he always tried to help me uh, because he has a lot of experience. He has been top level player the last I don't know six seven years here in Manchester, and of course I I have lots of things to learn about him. But I think the most important part of him is the way he. He he fits on this team. He is a leader. He he's one of the most experienced players in the team, and he's gonna help us to to win the competitions. We need these guys because I'm young. I can be good player, but I don't have that experience. So we need those players to you know in bad moments they they give us the the challenge to do the the, the good thing, and he's he's gonna fit uh, with me and with the team. Rodri here, Stipe Antonievich, Nova TV, Croatia. Uh, I wanted to ask you, how much have you learned about Dinamo Zagreb in the last couple of days? And did it surprise you when you saw that they beat Atalanta 4-0 in the first leg, since Atalanta were the third team in the Serie A last season? Of course, uh, it was surprising. But for me, it's not surprising, because when you arrive at Champions League, you, you're going to find all good uh, teams, of course. Uh, there's no bad team here in, in Premier League, and you have to be always alert. And of course, Dinamo Zagreb. I, you know, I I play in his stadium when I play against Croatia, and you know the environment, the fans is incredible. It makes uh, it shows it's a it's a big team in in Croatia, and we have to be focused if we want to win tomorrow the game. Uh, it's gonna be very tough, and they score four goals, so that means they have. Good quality. I I only know one player. It's uh, you know um, I don't know uh, yeah in Spain and um, yeah of course it's gonna be very very tough. And that was my second question to you about Olmo. Yeah. How well do you know him? He's absolute maybe the most important player of Dinamo Zagreb offensively. Oh, of course he's been great in Spain U21. How well do you know him and? Well, Danny, he's, uh, I didn't meet him a lot. Uh, I think he's younger than me. But I saw him and, you know, he has a good quality. And, of course, we are lucky Spanish to have this kind of players. He's gonna, I think he has a great future for, for the Spanish national team and, of course, his club. Um, I wish him all the luck. And, yeah, tomorrow we'll face. But uh, I think he, he has good quality. Hi, Rodri. Sam Lee from The Athletic. Uh, you mentioned when speaking about Fernandinho how it, you know, you, you've taken advice from him because this isn't your usual game. So in what ways have you had to adapt your game? Have you had to learn anything, change anything, so you can adapt to, to City and, and English football? Well, um, many things. Uh, of course, i uh, never used to play this position. Uh, you know, the way we play with lots of offensive players and not many defensive uh, of course I have to be focused uh, all the time it, but I like this position I think it's the the position I fit most and I like growing you know playing with these uh, players around um, yeah it's it's difficult the first matches of course but I'm getting used to and but the development of the match uh, we be better of course is there anything specific that you've had to learn, such as position on the pitch, when to press, when not to? Well, maybe the fact that I play alone uh, with not other, you know, defensive midfield, and, but it's the way we play and the way we, we want uh, offensive players to score goals. So it's, uh, it's, it's a challenge for me and I have to read the games and, and learn about this position. Hi, Rodri. Paul Hurst from The Times. You 
you and um, your last two managers are obviously played in this position that you played. How beneficial is that for you to kind of um, get the advice of Pep and Simeone? Well, for me, it's great because it's easier for them, for me to understand what what he he teach me, and it's you know it's all easier. I th I know the football changed by the develop of the years, but uh, he lived the same experience uh, I live, so he can he can translate me his ideas, and I can take it uh, easily because you know as you say we we play the same position.